What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 Career Mode here today for part 28 for the Spanish Grand Prix. If you're going to enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you missed the last episode in Zanvor or any of the episodes, then down in the description should be a link to the playlist and the last video. If I remember to do that because I'm very bad at things like that, but it should definitely be down there or as a card in the top right of the screen. But going into the race, um, in the background you'll see the grid. And coming off the back of Zanvoort when we were so close to our first point of the season, we were starting down in 17th though, but Spain always been a very sort of strategic race in a sense that the one stop is very powerful but let's get into the race as the five red lights go out it's a Mercedes 1-2 here in Spain as everyone gets away well no gingerly off the line it is bone dry out there compared to Zanvoort we're down inside we're gonna uh, they send it on pretty much everyone We've got ourselves into the top 10, the two Mercedes lead from the from, from the Red Bull. Goes around the outside and one of the Renaults there. As we're battling away with the McLaren. We've managed to get ahead, but the McLaren's having none of it. That is pretty sure it's Daniel Ricciardo up in front of us in the Ferrari. That is Charles Leclerc. We've got to pass the other Ferrari at the start in. Sebastian Vettel just on the road from Charles Leclerc is in fact... Alex Albon, who of course we had a great battle with in the Dutch Grand Prix. And now it's a two Mercedes lead. Can we do anything in this race? This is probably going to turn into one of them if we don't do them on the first lap as we send it down the inside. Charles Leclerc, we also try and get past Alex Albon. We couldn't do that though. And now, have we got the pace to dig with them? We started in P17 and we've got all the way up to P8. We have gained nine positions on that opening lap. Um, the dive bomb, very much, very powerful. It's kind of a, become a trademark move on this channel on the opening lap. But now we're catching the back of Alex Albon and we're going to send it down the inside of Alex Albon. And we're up into P7. So... In the space of a lap and three corners, we have gained 10 positions. But Albon trying to come back at us, we squeeze, we squeeze him right to the inside. Skipping on now, then further around the lap, we're on lap seven, and out of the race goes Guan Yu Zhou. And the safety car has been deployed on lap two of the Spanish Grand Prix. Wow. That spices things up in this race. The soft tyre runners surely have to pit. But what happens now then? It's such an early safety car out of the race with Guan Yu Zhou. Looks like something mechanical, um, engine related. It's not gone bang, so that's a good sign for him. But it might have been another component. But one of the Mercedes stays out, so Verstappen's in, the other Mercedes is in. And I'm guessing we're going to see quite a few pit stops now. So Sergio Perez is in the pits as well. One of the racing points also into the pits. They're all going on the mediums, but some have stayed out. And... That's not done him any favours. Lewis Hamilton is the Mercedes that has stayed out. Valtteri Bottas has come into the pits. And this has really helped the one-stop runners. So this is this has helped us out. We could really be on for some good points now. There is still a long way to go, don't get me wrong. But we could see this. So we are currently sitting in P3 of, of the Spanish Grand Prix. And as the safety car comes around, so it's Lewis Hamilton that leads from George Russell. We are P3. Then behind us is Alex Albon and Charles Leclerc. And the race is back underway. And can we stick with those? They're both on the soft tyres. Well, apart from Lewis Hamilton, Lewis has started on the mediums. That's where he didn't pit. So it's only really George Russell who is caught up in this as well. So he's behind Alex Albon and Charles Leclerc. 
as we flood through here and Alex Albon perhaps going to have a little look at us here is he to the inside no he's just a little bit too far back but I'm sure he will at some point he for the sake of his race he is really needs to get past us into the pit so skipping on goes Alex Albon, George Russell and I believe Charles Leclerc potentially as well has come into the pits yes he has so this spices things up these three drivers are all out of sync in terms of pit stops and things um, and they're doing a nose change to um, Charles Leclerc's car so that might have been when we dive bombed him on the opening lap probably is sorry Charles so yeah this spices things up big time because they're now on the medium so they can potentially go a bit further but also compared to those um, as well we're currently though in P2 of this race and you can see there just behind us is Lando Norris down the inside though of us goes Esteban Ocon and we are going to simply sail back round he's outside can Lando have a go now Lando been very quiet so far in this in this season can he have a go no just a little bit too far back he might come under pressure though from his new teammate in real life Daniel Ricciardo into the pits comes Lewis Hamilton to make his one and only stop in the Spanish Grand Prix and now trundling down the pit lane we will for a short amount of time be leading our first ever race in this career mode and for a brief time it's going to be a brown gp 1-3 lewis hamilton now is fair bit over, over the road from us is about about 14 15 seconds but skipping on a couple of laps on lap 14 we are going to come into the pits and go on to the hard tires those behind us probably gonna have to pit again those on the mediums definitely um as well as Leclerc and Albon, they are, they've really screwed themselves over with the strategy they've done. We're going to go into the hard tyres and when everyone pits again, we're going to be in a very comfortable P2, I believe. Once um, George Russell, I think he, he will definitely have to pit again, I'm pretty sure. We have come out behind Albon and Leclerc, but that just shows you what how that safety car has changed this race so much we were battling them at the start and now we we're a pit stop in front of them once they pit again currently sitting in p5 they are p p3 and p4 as nicholas latifi retires for two races in a row because remember he retired in zanvoort last time out and we're currently in p3 on lap 20 so there's 13 laps to go Albon has pitted and now has Charles Leclerc and we are up into P2 because George Russell has pitted as well but you can see Lewis Hamilton is 23 seconds up the road skipping on to the very final lap Lewis Hamilton will cross the line he's 41 seconds in front of us we fended off Esteban Ocon he just couldn't get close enough with the dirty air Lewis Hamilton is going to win the Spanish Grand Prix by over 40 seconds to show you how much we have still got to gain in <laughs> in the R&D on Mercedes but we are going to round the final corner it's going to be our first points of this season and our first ever Brown GP podium. Yes, 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 we're on the podium. Good job this weekend. Great drive. Thank you. They've done it then, a spectacular victory here in Spain and a massive confidence boost going into the next race. Tell me Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? 
Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. And I could see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Wow, what a race that turned out to be. Very odd podium. I can't get rounded out the podium positions and that that feels so nice because I thought results like that were going to be seasons and seasons away. But the safety car really, really got us that podium because it was so early on. The AI, those on the soft tyres, didn't know what to do with themselves. So that actually puts us all the way into 12th place in the standings and does a lot of damage to those teams around us in the constructors as we jump up to P8 so now there's two teams still yet to score of Williams and Haas but if you have enjoyed that episode make sure to like and subscribe just for that podium finish and I will see you next time out in Monaco. Goodbye.